Kia ora tātou katoa. This presentation is about uh, author disambiguation and dealing with unwanted initials when they turn up in your references in your publication when you are using reference management software such as EndNote or Mendeley. So first of all, here is an example of this problem. I've got a mock publication here, uh, and you can see that there is a paper that's been referred to here by this guy called Levac, W. Levac, uh, and an initial has turned up in this in this um, this particular presentation. Down here, this uh, same author is referred to again, but here um, the initials are W. M. M. And I've got another example here by this person called Smith, uh, a person called D. Smith. Um, and another publication by somebody else, E. Smith. If you look down at the bottom here, you can see in the reference list that these two publications by W and W M M are by, in fact, are in fact by the same author. It just so happens that the, the um, formatting of the author's name has has been uh, is, is different in the case of these publications. And here we have got publications by Smiths, where uh, two Smiths, where uh, the uh, authors are in fact different people. So this is a problem that, that uh, turns up uh, for me with masters and PhD students in particular wanting to know why this happens and how to stop it happening. So first of all uh, it, we need to talk a bit about author disambiguation when using reference management software and uh, citation systems such as APA6. So APA6 is the type of author date uh, reference system and in APA6 it is in fact correct to use initials of authors in some instances. So when you've got two publications in your reference list that happen to have uh, authors with the same surname, but they're different authors, then it is appropriate to include the first author's initiation, uh, initials in all citations um, referring to that publication in your uh, main text. These are called in-text in -text citations when they're in your main texts, and bibliography when they're in your reference list. Also, um, uh, that also to, to, to note, um, uh, initials shouldn't be appearing for second or subsequent authors uh, and the initials should only be used or should be used even if the year of publication differs uh, and finally if the initials are the same like if you've got two authors who are different people who have the same first initials then um, you are supposed to use the person's full name in your citation your in-text citation so if you just go back to this example here this here E Smith and uh, D Smith are in fact correct uses of initials when using APA 6 as a citation method to tell the reader that these Smiths are different people. However, in the case of WMM Levac here and above, uh, these are in fact the same author and so addition of initials in these citations is incorrect. So why does this problem happen? Well, if you are using software such as EndNote or Mendeley, uh, these software uh, packages can't tell that uh, an author with the name w, uh, Levac, WM is the same as an author called Levac, William. Uh, because the, the formatting of these names is different, then um, the, uh, the, the reference management software assumes that they're different people and adds the initials in. The way you fix this problem is by making sure that the author's names is formatted the same way for each citation. So if I go here, um, one of these citations for 2004, one's for 2009, I'll go into my EndNote system and dig up 2004. Uh, there's this citation here. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to just format this name a little differently um, so that I'm formatting it in a standardized way. I can um, do the same for um, these other two authors here but in actual fact it doesn't matter too much it's just this first order that matters for this um, issue of disambiguation. So I'm going to um, save that change and then the other one was 2009 and I'll just check that one to make sure that um, the, the formatting of this name has been, has been um, is, is consistent as well. One thing just to bear in mind is that uh, is that um, uh, EndNote can't tell the difference between WMM and WM.M. So we need to make sure that the formatting is exactly the same 
even the addition of an extra space sometimes can throw um, this reference management software out as well. So now that I've made these changes into an EndNote, I can go back to my original article and update my citation lists and the problem goes away. So now we've got um, LeVac 2009 and LeVac McPherson, McPherson and McNaughton 2004 correctly uh, formatted um, here. So that's how you go about solving problems with unnecessary or unwanted initials in your master's or PhD thesis.